<laughs> Clutch. You may go. Two May have I have I clip there? Hey, clip. I don't know. Oh, maybe. Gang lead? No, I think you attach it to something. So pretty. Traffic always very bad. Oh really? Oh. Out of like the the strip. <laughs> making um, my new creation which is a fake matcha or I like to call a fatcha because <laughs> it's like actually makes me kind of fat <laughs> um, but I want to show you um, what I'm adding it's already got the stuff boiling um, oh yeah let me start from the beginning yeah so as many of you know, if you've been on this channel long enough, I cannot have caffeine. Um, even though caffeine is like the joy of my life. <laughs> um, but yeah, to 
you know, like replace matcha, um, I've been trying uh, moringa powder, which is like, I mean, like all I really need is, you know, like green colored milk, right? That's just probably what is, you know, <laughs> activating my senses. But moringa is pretty awesome because it has like that um, color of um, matcha green. And it kind of smells like um, lemony too. So like it has like that grayish, um, grayish green tint to it. And then, so I get like, you know, maybe like a tablespoon of that. And then also like a tablespoon of <laughs> this other thing called um, barley, barley grass powder, which also has this ashy gray <laughs> color. You guys think I'm totally crazy. Um, but you know, when you're craving something, it's really hard. So yeah, also like the same, this one is a little more bluer, like, yeah, so it's all boiling right now. And then what I do is I like to add, you just like, after you eat your tangerine, you leave the peel and it dries like this. So I just grab one and then I throw into the mix. And then it gets like that um, citrusy tang that, um, you know, um, my local coffee shop adds to their matcha. They, they do like lemon peel, but I find this kind of works too. And then after that, I'm gonna grab some Southern California wildflower honey, San Diego. Um, okay, a ton of honey. And then um, I got really into the whole whisk thing. Um, and then my friend was like, why are you doing like a manual whisk? Like get the electric one. So, I got the electric whisk. So far, this is like a mixture of hot water and oat milk. So I think I'm gonna add a little more real milk into the mix. Sometimes I feel like I'm just trying to get the color right. <laughs> the taste doesn't really matter. It's like the artist way. Um, okay, so I'm gonna keep boiling that find my electric whisk. So yeah, reflux life is pretty hard. Um, you're constantly like <laughs> going with friends and be like, yeah, let's hang out at a coffee shop. I'll order like steamed milk. <laughs> or like steamed oat milk <laughs> or like you're like oh yeah let's get uh let's go hang out and like take a brisk walk to feel energized <laughs> so yeah i kind of trying to live like all these on these like alternatives another one i like to do is um cafix which my doctor recommended um 100 caffeine free and um, it's actually made out of um, roasted barley, rye, chicory, and sugar beets. And um, it kind of gets like that bitter, um, bitter, you know, quality that I um, try to get from coffee. Um, another one I've been doing has been called um, Post. Um, this one's okay because um, I feel like it is a little. Um, filling you know because um, it is just um, I think it is let's see wheat and molasses so um, I feel like sometimes it doesn't have like that um, you know the um, digestive quality that coffee does um, so I feel like Caffix does kind of the job and then what I do is like I add creamer or um, my favorite Strauss um, organic half and half um, from Sprouts. So, okay, here is the boil I like to see. I think my dream is just to be like a barista <laughs> in like a reflux free coffee shop. <laughs> um, yeah, I think someday 
when I'm like owning a yacht and I have nothing else to do. <laughs> okay, let's see how this drink looks. Okay, my neighbor got me this really cute mug. Thank you, Mr. E. Ooh, there's a stain on it. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. Isaiah 40, 31. Actually, while I was talking, all the liquid burned away. <laughs> I'm going for it, like <laughs> these holes. <laughs> that doesn't look too appetizing. <laughs> okay, let's see how this is. <laughs> Last night's was better. <laughs> I mean, it has that sandy texture. But I think I need a little more lemon. Okay, it's time to find me some lemons. <laughs> Got the smell. Yes. The lemon makes it. Yes. I've mastered my fatcha. <laughs> so yeah. Barley powder, moringa powder, lemon, honey, milk, oat milk, dairy, and oat milk. What else? Probably someone will say like salt or something. I didn't do salt. Um, but yeah, in the right quantities, it makes the perfect satcha. Yay! I have like the, the got milk green mustache. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is better than my coffee shop. Yay, Kay! <laughs> Yeah, so this one I got from Sprouts. The barley powder I got from, um, it's called microingredients.com. Um, I think it was like Amazon though. And then um, actually <laughs> I'm trying a third green powder. Um, I, uh, I will tell you, <laughs> or I will show you, or, or vlog you the results of that one soon. So, <laughs> yay. <laughs> Okay, back to work. <laughs> One more sip. Oh, and thank you, Miss C, my neighbor, for letting me steal your lemons. <laughs>